Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on the volumes of 3D shapes. Uh, so volume is a property that describes how much space a three-dimensional shape takes up. And so first of all, let's look at some prisms. Uh, so in order to calculate the volume of a prism, we have to work out the area of the cross section. So the cross section is the 2D shape that's at the end of the prism. Uh, and in this case, it's a triangular prism. So we'll use the formula for the area of a triangle. Uh, which is area equals a half times base times height. Okay, so if we plug our numbers in, that gives us 0 0.5 times the base, which is six centimeters, times the height, which is five centimeters. And that gives us a value of 15 centimeters squared for the area of the cross section. Then if we want to work out the volume of the prism, all we do is we multiply this value of 15 by the uh, length of the prism. Uh, so that gives us 15 times 3.5 equals 52.5. Uh, so that's the volume and we measure volume in centimeters cubed in this case uh, because the values in the question are given in centimeters. Uh, so let's have a look now at the cylinder here. Uh, so a cylinder is essentially just a circular prism uh, so in order to calculate the area of the cross section, we'll use the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. Uh, now r equals five, uh, that's this radius here, which is five. Uh, so if we put that into the formula, then that gives us five squared times pi. So the area is 25 pi. And then all we do to find the volume is we multiply that uh, by the length or the height, which is eight centimeters. Uh, so the volume then is eight times 25 pi, which equals 200 pi. Uh, now, sometimes that would be okay uh, if the question says leave your answer in terms of pi. Uh, otherwise, you could give it as a decimal, which is 628.3, uh, and the units would be centimeters cubed again. So the second skill that we'll look at is calculating the volume of pyramids and cones. Uh, now, the reason that these are grouped together uh, is because a cone is essentially just a circle based pyramid. So the formula that, the, that you'll use is the same for both. Uh, so the formula that we need is volume equals one third times A. Now A is the area of the base of the pyramid or cone. So in this uh, pyramid here, that would be the square base. And then we times that by the vertical height. Uh, so be that for the cone. Here it's given us 25 for the pyramid. Uh, so let's calculate the volume of the pyramid that's been given. Uh, first of all, let's calculate the area of the base. Uh, so it's a square base pyramid. Uh, so that means that the other dimension is also 14 millimeters. Uh, so A equals 14 times 14 or 14 squared. And that gives us a value of 196. Now the units would be millimeters squared uh, because the units, or sorry, the lengths are given in millimeters. Okay, and then all we do uh, to find the volume is we times uh, our value of 196 by one third and by the vertical height. And if we do all that, uh, it gives us a value of 1,633.3 millimeters cubed in this case. So the final skill that we'll look at in this video is calculating the volume of a sphere. And once again, it's a specific formula that we need. And the formula is volume equals four divided by three pi r cubed. Uh, so let's say that the value of r was three. If we plug these in to the formula, that would give us four over three pi times three cubed. Uh, so volume equals four divided by three pi times 27. Uh, and if you cancel that down, you should get a value of 36 pi. So let's have a look at an example question now. So the shape below is a composite shape consisting of a cone on top of a cylinder. Calculate the volume of the whole shape. Give your answer to one decimal place. Uh, so let's break this up and work out the volume of the cone and the cylinder separately. Uh, so to work out the area of the cylinder, we first of all need the area of the circular base. So the area of the circle is pi r squared and the r in this case is four millimeters. So 
the expression becomes 4 squared times pi, which is 16 pi, and the units will be millimeters squared. Uh, and then to work out the volume, uh, let's say volume of the cylinder. Uh, we, all we have to do is multiply this 16 pi millimeter squared by the height, which is 3 millimeters. So 16 pi times 3, and that gives us 48 pi millimeters cubed for the volume of the cylinder. Now the volume of a cone, uh, we use the formula, which is a third times the area of the base, which in this case uh, we've already worked out as 16 pi. And then we times that by the height of the cone, which is 5.5 millimeters. And if we plug all that into the calculator, it gives us a value of 88 over 3 pi millimeters cubed. So that's the volume of the cone. And then the total volume, call it V total, is just 48 pi, so the volume of the cylinder, plus 88 over 3 pi, so which is the volume of the cone. And if we plug all that into the calculator, it gives us a value of 242.9498 or to one decimal place, as the question asks for, uh, that's 242.9, and then the units will be millimetres cubed. So if you'd like to improve at this topic or just practice some exam style questions, then we do have an online exam available on the volumes of 3D shapes. You can find it through our revision platform. So if you click the link, it'll take you straight there. Uh, you'll find a variety of different question types. So some will be multiple choice, some you can just type an answer in. Uh, there's plenty of questions to have a go at and you'll get instant feedback on all of them. So it's really useful if you want to keep track of the areas that you need to improve at. So if you're interested, as I say, you can click the link below and it'll take you straight there.